everyone today let us see the working of the google meet app and how we can implement it for our online classes in order to use the google meet app you have to download it from the play store this is the icon of the app and then you can click on the app when we click on the app basically we get to see here two options that is new meeting and meeting code if you have the meeting code you can go here you can give the code and you can join the meeting if you want to start a new meeting then we can click on new meeting a new page will appear right here and from here we get the meeting code we can instantly share the code with our students through google classroom or whatsapp next what do we see here if you have your previous meetings you can also rejoin those meetings this was about creating a meeting or joining a meeting now here we get to see the two options of audio and video right now the audio portion of my app is on and i have turned off the video whenever you want your video should be on you can put it on by clicking on it let us rejoin one of the meetings and see the other features of the google meet app okay so what do we see here we see here three dots where there are many options now if you switch camera obviously you will be moving from selfie mode to the other side of the to the pictures of the other side of the mobile turn on captions now what happens if we turn on captions a message came captions being turned on and if you are speaking after the captions are being turned on basically that particular message will apply here whatever you are speaking will come here you your students if their captions are on it will get typed your voice will be converted into text but we need to be very clear while using this particular option or we can turn it off next is present screen option present screen now what happens in this particular option this is like screen sharing i want to share the other screens of my mobile with the students suppose you have a question for the students you want to show that question to the students you can share your screen by using this option of present screen now we will click on present screen and you have to click on start presenting then whatever you want to present on the screen will be shared with your students next we have another option here called the chat option you can type here and during a class if you want your students should type and they should send you doubts then they can use this chat option and they can also ask their questions by typing sometimes audio is not clear during a particular class then this option can be used 
to keep our online sessions on. So I sent a message hello and it went into the chat box. All the students will be able to see it. Next. From here, I can get to see the students who have joined my call and also we can control the actions of the students. We can mute them. If you think an unwanted person has joined the call, you can actually move that person out of your call. So these two options are present when the list of the students will be displayed here. You can mute a student, you can remove a person from your call. In this manner, Google Meet is very secured. So with the help of all these features, we can use Google Meet to take our online classes. Thank you.